father in faith and the general superintendent. Let me thank you for the honor of inviting me. And why thank you for the honor of inviting me or accepting my request to come for prayers. Let me now thank you and I assure you that I'll be here in November. I will not miss that invitation. Let me thank all the AG members that are here. We are all children of God, so I'm an AG member. Let me thank you for what you are doing. And I must admit, as I was coming here, I was asking the question on issue of university and issue of education. As you know, I'm particularly about the education. And I thank you and all the AG members for the prayers. Let me assure all of you, we need prayers in our country. We need prayers in our country. By the time I finish, I will tell you your prayer points. Because part of why I believe we are getting it wrong is that our prayer point needs to change. I will give you the prayer point when I end. For me, I am sincerely, sincerely grateful and appreciative of this opportunity. And like the our father in faith have said, it's not a political rally. It shouldn't be a political rally. I said it, people should not go to the church or place of worship to discuss about politics. But also said to the church, do not walk away from politics. The church walking away from politics is part of why what we are suffering. The church members live in a nation. The sufferings that are going on today are AG members and church members. When you walk away from politics, people suffer. The church doesn't have a place where their members buy food cheaper. Do they have? Do they have a, a road where their place? Schools that are closed today, universities that are closed today, unacceptable anywhere in the world. Some are AG members. So the church can't keep quiet. We kept quiet enough. We cannot allow a situation we find our ways in Nigeria today where lunatics have taken over the asylum. Nigeria cannot continue the way it's going today. And it's your prayers. Your prayers is you're not asking for anything more. You're asking just for good governance. You're asking them hope to build a place for your children. We want to give the children of this country hope. We are asking for more. We have 100 million Nigerians living in poverty. We have our young ones who have gone to school without a job, without a future. They're not asking for anything. They want an opportunity to earn a living. It is not too much for their country to give them. So I'm going around asking people, do not shy away from politics. We have a
election coming up in 2023, P2B is not asking you today for vote for P2B. I'm asking you to sit down and scrutinize all those that are offering themselves for election. Put all of us on a scale. Let's know who we are. Let's ask questions who we are. Let's verify who we are. Because Peter B is from the East, I will vote for him. Do not vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. Do not vote for anybody because they're from the West. Do not vote for anybody because they're from the North. This is time to vote a human being who have conscience and trust. So if Peter B is not the one, if Peter B is not the one to be trusted, don't vote for him. Don't vote for him because he gave you money. Because he will steal your money. This is the time we have seven months. You have seven months to ask questions. Who is Peter Obi? Where did he go to school? Who are his families? Who are those who say they? Question. Don't listen to our grammar. Don't even look at our certificates. Yes, you can ask me when the question. But remember that the educational qualification is not a measure of integrity. There's so many criminals that went to school. There's so many people who went to school who are